All right. Uh, as many of you know, my name is Jesse Shane, and uh, we've been endeavoring for a while to get to this moment here. It's been a, a long journey. I think uh, original vision for this was five years ago. I was working for a television company. They had a two and a half million dollar budget. They had 20 of the most incredible people. And I said, these people could change the world. I actually saw that and I was so excited I would have tattooed their brand on my shoulder. And uh, ever since that moment, I actually have been radically uh, transformed and even wrecked. I, I, I have absolutely no ability to do anything but what I saw in that moment and win that moment back because I thought it was significant and worth chasing and I'm willing to spend whatever energy it takes to get there. So in the process of doing it, I've learned some things about that and I found out that uh, I chose that a grassroots approach was a more proper approach. Uh, two and a half million dollar budget was a problem for them. It was so much weight they couldn't produce the revenue fast enough really to keep spending two and a half million dollars each year. And they were doing actually really good. They were actually growing sufficiently. They did $700,000 in sales and that should be excellent for their second year of business. But the point is saying is that the overhead was just too much. So we have bootstrapped from, from the ground up. We have literally come out of pocket and excitingly enough, we have come to this moment. So um, as most of you already know what we're looking at in software, I do want to explain AXL. I want anybody that doesn't know, I know we've had a lot of personal conversations. So in doing so, put together this definition to make it clear. Our biggest objective in creating and explaining America Excel is to enable ambitious and talented artists, innovators, entrepreneurs to continually increase their personal clarity, confidence, and capability in a rapidly changing world that might otherwise be the source of increased confusion. So that's really what we're looking at. Artists, innovators, entrepreneurs continually increase personal clarity, confidence, and capability. So starting all this off, how we do that is we are going to lay a foundation with the law. So years and years ago, humanities come from fire and they developed the rock uh, tools and they developed the wheel and they developed roads and they grew and grew and grew and we, we had this amazing history. And throughout all that history, what happened was there was a law at hand and that law was the law of addition. And what that law represents is it represents me having two pies. And it represents Arma having two pies, Jocelyn having two pies, and Kia having two pies. Now, if we were to come together, I would take my two pies, I'd put them on the table. Two pies here, Arma's got two pies, Jocelyn's got two pies, Kia's got two pies, we put two pies on the table, me and Arma, we got four pies. Excellent. Jocelyn brings her two pies, that's six pies. We've got six pies, we're working together. Kia, bring your two pies, we got eight pies on the table. We're real excited about eight pies. Well, where we're at is uh, in a new time, in a new era, and a new opportunity, and that's the law of the exponential. The law of exponential says that when we work together, me and Arma come together, we might only produce four pies. But if we can add a third wheel named Jocelyn and she can bring it on, we're not going to produce six pies. In fact, together what we're going to do is we're going to produce eight pies. That's the law of exponential. It's exponential. Adds, it works upon itself. Multiply by two. Same thing if we take... Kia, and we add Kia to the mix, instead of having eight pies, we have 16 pies. And we keep going right through the room. You can do the math. And the law of the exponential is, in effect, happening. Now, this has never happened before until recently, past 30 years. So, the past 30 years, we've come from somewhere. In 1980, we had one million people. Anybody guess what we had one million people doing in 1980? Anybody? Shot out of the dark. On the internet. On the internet. And survey says, good, good answer, computers. Computers, we had one million people with opportunity to use computers in 1980. That's less than 1% of the population. That's 0.16666. Very few people, limited resource. Those computers were as big as this room and bigger. 30 years later, where are we at? Two billion people. Let that sit in for one second. Think about that. In 30 years, we went from less than 1% to a third of the world's population. Now have desktop computers. What that means is that we've seen a 200,000 time increase in the availability of technology. What we're here to talk about is saying that literally the opportunity is exponential. You might talk to people and they might say, hey, 
I know where technology's going. I know what the internet is. We might even think that we've discovered it. We say, oh, we've seen Facebook, we've seen YouTube, we've seen <coughs> eBay in our day. What I'm telling you is that where we're going is nobody has seen, nobody can even project. The growth is so massive. The growth is so huge. The, the power that is in an individual's hand today is equal to what was in scientists' hand 30 years ago. In an African's hand, a kid with a f mobile phone, a smartphone, has more power, more democracy, more ability to change and influence the world than any other time in all of humanity. And the point is saying is some of us are tweeting. This is good. Some of us are social networking. This is good. There's more power. There's more potential. There's more opportunity. And we can't even scale. We can't even fathom. We cannot sit here and dream enough about what that future is going to be. We cannot. You can talk to the smartest men on the earth, and they will tell you some things about what they believe, and some of their predictions will be true. But the truth is you do not know, and we do not know because it's happening so fast. We're exploring it as we go. So to put it into scale, if the entire abundance of the Internet today was equal to the size of a golf ball, every tweet, every web page, every email, everything that's happening on the Internet was the size of a golf ball, by 2040, its multiplier resources, capabilities, and opportunities would be equal to the size of the sun. That's a lot of growth. A golf ball to the size. We cannot fathom that. So that's, that's just kind of the framework that I want to kind of put that in, is saying literally today we are looking at that type of opportunity. So moving ahead, I want to touch back on the law of the exponential. What that means is saying that... If we work together, we have exponential power. So that's the point. The point is saying is everybody here has been invited. This is an invite-only meeting. We've met with just about everybody here. If you got an invitation from somebody that you knew, wonderful, I'll be glad to meet you. But the point is saying is I know that the people that we've invited had uh, three main focuses that we're looking to take advantage of and work together. But the, the results need to be exponential. Our time needs to be exponential. And what we do together needs to be exponential. The three points, a lot of you guys are going to hear me say this. I've said it before, but I do always want to lay the groundwork of this because it should be something that we're really familiar with and why we're working together and what those foundational points are. Point number one is hard over cash. So we consider this to be an equation that's very important to people living out their dreams, being empowered, having the ability to move forward, exercise their goals. Uh, money's a huge part of the equation. You need to have cash flow. You need to figure out cash flow. We are figuring out cash flow. We're talking about cash flow. Anybody that's ever heard me talk about my numbers, I tell you the money that we spend. I tell you everything we're doing. We're very transparent. We want you to learn from this opportunity. We think that this year is the year for you to really pay attention. We share with you exactly what we're doing, our hardships, uh, our breakthroughs, our failures, all that in between. But greater than that is our heart. And this is where we really really are gonna find connectivity. And it's not true in every place that you go that people really do lead with their heart. It's not true. At the same time, whenever it is true, something beautiful happens. The people sitting next to you are more important than your money. <coughs> the opportunity we have to share information and knowledge and not compete against each other is more important than your success. Because only together can we reach an exponential opportunity. Independently, you can do that all day by yourself. The point of saying is if we don't share the value of heart, we lose something. And I think it's the opportunity for us to be exponential. So another way to say that is collaborative. So we like to use that word. It's crossed, a.k.a. hey, let's be collaborative. Let's share our hearts. Let's not let's compete in a fun way, but let's also be mindful that, hey, you're more important than even what I can do. So number two, I think everybody that is on board has to share in this determination. I've walked through some of the uh, pie chart with some of you guys regarding time, how you spend time. Bottom line is things, if you think that you can work two hours a week at your goal, it's not gonna happen. You know, a lot of times you need to be spending two to four hours a day. Those are realities of life. If you can't work an 80 hour week, you're gonna have a hard time getting your dream off the ground. It's just a reality of life. Uh, some of us are working 20 hour days. Some of us are doing 12 hour days, whatever, to each their own. But the bottom line is saying, it is about determination. Another way to say that, hard work. So. The philosophy is hard work. We just basically all are grinding out, willing to do what it takes. Number three. Number three is what most of you have on board is talent. Some of you have even developed your talent to a place of skill. Skill is a 
Skill is an exercise. Skill is a mastery of a talent. Talent's God-given. Some of you are so talented, you ain't got to work at it. You're just born talented. You're just good looking and talk nice and people like you, you know. Skill is something that we work at. Skill is something that we work real hard and mastery of a skill set, well, that's, that speaks for itself. It stands alone. So uh, moving ahead, we are launching AXL. Out of the Here is the updated site. And uh, first two months are going to be fun for us to get the traction going. And uh, the software is amazing. $72,000 is what we spent up to this day. We've got uh, our $60,000 budget secure for the year. It's wonderful. We're going after additional round of investment by March will be also exciting, uh, addressing some of the video things that we're wanting to do. This is the homepage, Zach Ford. I don't know if you see yourself up here, but got your good looking mug up in here. But um, the banner will be used just to kind of promote everybody uh, from time to time. The articles, I believe there's five, maybe six that are posting the homepage right now. They will be on uh, rotation as far as most recent. So that's the way it's set up right now. We'll continue to be t tweaking the software and editing it. We uh, have focused on articles. So you can see here, if you're looking at this online where you can see it, uh, there's a pixel resolution for minimum size on that image, nice and big, so people will find your articles and be able to read them. Uh, so this, this is kind of getting into the most exciting part of what we're going to talk to before we get into the nuts and bolts and the workshop part that Brandon will lead us through. This part has to do with really understanding what's going to make us successful. So going in to 2013, we have set some goals, and we're going to lead out with these goals. So is we're going to launch 480 articles together. That is our goal. We hope that all those articles are spectacular, wonderful, super intriguing. And the goal for 2013 by the end of the year is to get to 20,000 uniques. This is a uh, awesome goal. This is an amazing goal. It put us on course with some um, publications and magazines that would be above some of the local networks that are here in the Charlotte area. It's a tremendous goal, 20,000 uniques. That means not page views. That means not uh, people coming to the website. It means individual, different people. We're saying by the end of the year, we should be seeing 20,000 unique individuals coming to our site, paying attention. Now, if we were to say 20,000 uniques by the end of the year, I would say that's a pretty, <laughs> pretty good goal. Our goal is 20,000 uniques per month by the end of the year. That's an insane goal. So. Uh, I am going to put it out on the line and say, let's make that goal happen. It's going to require not just me. I'm going to give myself to this, no doubt. It's going to require everybody to understand what's happening in the marketplace today, in the marketplaces that you're studying, and be progressive. Be absolutely uh, amazing in taking the ground that you're going after. Here we go. Moving on. We are looking at how do we get there? That's a good question. How do we get there? How do we get to 20,000? If I were to launch my own independent website, how long would it take me to get to 20? Long time. It really would. I'd get to maybe 1,000, 2,000. I'd be like, yeah, we're talking about 20,000. How are we going to get there? I'm going to tell you. Also, my uh, question I've heard from a lot of people is, uh, what exactly am I writing about? What exactly am I writing about? Well, some of you might say, I write about cooking. That would be a topic that would fit. Uh, I write about art. That would be a good thing to say. I write about music or I write about fashion. What I want to help you understand is that these are bad statements. We don't want to say we write about art. We don't want to say we write. That would be a fast track to sucking. <laughs> and it would be what we call uh, mediocre. Mediocre. So the point of saying is we've got to get more aggressive. It, that's too vague. That's too nothing. That's too nobody. We have to be more drilled in, more specific, more refined, more amazing, and how we get there is by searching. So if you take away anything, I don't care if you haven't signed the AXL contract, this should be the most valuable thing we say to you tonight. It's about searching. It's about digging. It's about right now going in and asking questions. The questions you're going to ask are going to lead you to a place. This place is going to set you up for success. It's not about what we know. It's about the infinite exploration of the most incredible details of common and relatable subjects. What we have to understand is we are just beginning to find. We are just beginning to understand. The music industry was toppled by Napster. The music industry has never been the same. 
the internet has opened up a new door to the long tail and music is now being shared and distributed amongst peers and people and it's only begun. The music industry is, the on is only one industry that soon will be toppled. Fashion has not really been affected by the coming onslaught of power and freedom given to individuals. Fashion will be transformed. Video production is being transformed right now by Vimeo. We will see its effects. Right now the movie industry hasn't been transformed. It will be transformed. It will be radically different. We are just beginning to explore and beginning to understand what's happening. And if you do not search, dig, and find, you will not be on the front edge of that wave. You will not, you will not have the opportunities that innovators have when they're riding that wave. So let's get on that wave. To provoke some thought, I've come up with this list of things um, which we can send you in an email, but uh, if you'd like, you know, but these are just thoughts. These are just things. Type of questions that you want. So say I'm looking at fashion and I'm saying, hey, what are the combining resources that are happening right now in the industry? How is technology? How's the internet? How's the social networking opportunities and websites and other people launching things? What are the things that are coming together and combining resources and people are now reaching more power and potential? What are those greater capabilities? Where is their greater creativity? Where's their higher values? By asking questions, we begin to dig. And by digging in deeper, what we come to is we come to a place where we start to identify with certain keys. And as we dig in, I know one that resonates real deep with me is freedom. And how freedom and growth without restrictions is impacting a marketplace. How is that going? What's the future of it? What's the leadership in that? What really happens here is you gravitate towards certain topics. And you can come up immediately with titles for your book. You're going to be in a position where as you start to study, you're going to recognize, I really understand multipliers. I really understand how people are coming together and how that creates exponential growth. Or I understand how relationships are working or contributions from an individual. These will give you real detailed article titles starting out. What it also do is allow you to lead to a certain moment. Let's keep going ahead. So as we search, as we ask questions, as we discover things that are evolving and transforming so quickly, we're going to come to this. Aha. Whoa. No way. Incredible. Exclamation marks. We're going to come to epiphanies. We're going to come to moments where we get breakthroughs and we have an understanding and it's going to motivate us and it's going to shape us. And these facts are going to define how we look at life. It's going to also increase the authority in which we speak. People will say these people have spent tons of time researching. You'll have something that you've understood, a line of sight that you have developed, and you'll come to theses and you'll come to places where you'll say this is an epiphany. You'll be able to predict, hey, I can see a trend happening here. You'll be able to see opportunity moving ahead. More importantly is that by searching, you discover your voice. If I were to say anything, is saying, how many people have heard of Macklemore? Anybody? White rapper named Macklemore. Anybody? If you ain't heard of him, look up a song called Thrift Shop. About three years ago, me and uh, Brandon were, were investigating and looking at people, and as soon as we came across him, I said, this guy's got it. I literally, three years ago, I promise you, three years ago, I said, this guy's got it. I said, he's going to hit it. He's going to hit his moment. He ain't hit it yet. I said, but he's going to hit it. I said, you know why? Because he's, he's willing to stand alone. He's willing to find his own voice. He's willing, he, how many people got fake plastic watches and the same fur coats? How many times are we going to hit the same thing, an echo of somebody else or something that's popular culture and not get anywhere? It's because we're not standing on our two feet. We're not taking the time to research. We come up with a quick dream and we imagine something quickly and we say, oh, that's me and I'm going to run after it. No, you, it really comes down to a process of really, really discovering. Some of you may have discovered your voice. Other ones of us are going to really be pioneering and pulling it out still. My point is saying is when you have found your voice, you will resonate. There'll be 10,000 people that are going to say, that's who I'm down with. There'll be 20,000 people. Some of us will have a tribe of 200,000. Some of us might be built for that real opportunity and say, hey, I need 2 million people, 3 million people. Who knows? There's an opportunity. There's an opportunity for you to build a tribe, and the key is to discover your voice. When you do, don't have to try. Not having to try, how many people have seen somebody trying? You know they got it, got some talent, but they're still trying. You can feel it. You can feel it coming off. Man, this person's trying, you know. They're trying, but you know they got something, just not matured yet. When we're there, we don't have to do anything to sell it. It just is. It just is. We'll stand out. Moving ahead. Risk. 
So I'm a drill into risk. Some of us may have experienced risk in different ways. Some of us might be real familiar with risk because we've had to overcome great odds to get to where we're at today. Some of us may not be very comfortable with risk and hate risk. But as you start to discover opportunity and your voice and your opportunity, you will risk. You will, instead of buying a new car, you'll buy a beat up van and drive it for two years. Instead of buying a new house, you will uh, stay in the house you're in and invest your money in something. It'll cause you to do crazy things. I'm gonna drill into risk later in another AXL meeting. We'll be having these AXL meetings once a quarter and I'm thinking probably the third quarter one, I would drill into that one the most because I think some of you might be getting to a spot where you're really ready to risk. I think some of you are not in a position where you want to risk and um, you might want to continue to learn and study. I would tell you there's a difference, meaning uh, some of you will have business models that I think you'll be able to develop and go after and charge hard after. If you feel like you're ready, I never stop anybody from chasing their dream. At the same time, I think there's a real intelligent opportunity. When you're really ready, you'll know. I've been working with a kid a number of years. He's been, he's been fighting and developing. He finally found his voice. He found his voice. His stars are coming together. I said, bro, we'll put cash around you this year. Guarantee it. I said, guarantee you. We'll sit down. We'll write the business plan. You'll have somebody that comes and starts backing you up. You still got a bootstrap, um, but you're in, a, in an incredible position. You found your voice. So we'll drill deeper into risk, but the number one thing, the thing that you should walk away with is that you want to develop a loud and clear voice. Bottom line, you want to be very, very loud and you want to be very, very clear. And that will come with time. Writing these articles is that process. You get to explore, you get to get feedback, you get to share ideas. You get to get, we will pat people on the back for great articles in the next AXL meeting. We really would love some of the best articles that have been written for those people to share, some of the epiphanies, some of the things that they've discovered. We think that'd be really exciting. But the point I would say is this is I'm going to be loud and I'm going to be clear and I'm going to communicate what I think has value. And I hope that you do the same. And that's what I believe you will do. So with all that being said, I'd like to welcome you to...